Hello and welcome once again to a very very important topic for the day and the interview question that we are going on with the series let me tell you these all are research material research content with example and with real scenarios you would get benefited of this i'm very very sure but provided you are watching this and if this is not holding any kind of relevance to you you can pass on to all those people who are students who are freshers who are on the fence sitting eyeing for a job maybe first time or second time let them brush up with the knowledge of what we are bringing to you all so here we go with yet another interesting question and the question is what are your salary expectations the salary expectations is uh, is the question which comes as the pen the ultimate question when you are actually trying to sign the job offer and what makes it detrimental at that point is that you have something to offer to the job and they have in lieu to offer you back some remuneration so let's try and understand and take a deep dive as to what this question is all about and what should be our approach employers may bring up the topic of pay at some point in the interview process sometimes recruiters ask this question during an initial phone screening itself nowadays or they may hold off and discussion salary until you have met face to face you may be asked for your salary expectations directly on an application form or in response to a predetermined salary range offered by the employer while a question about your salary expectation is one of more straightforward things employers ask during the job interview it can be stressful to talk about money you can manage this stress by preparing your answers to salary related questions ahead of time if you do research on average compensation for both the role and your experience level you can have productive and informative uh, conversations about pay with your potential employers so why employers ask about salary expectations when an employer asks about your salary expectation it's usually for three reason what are they they have a budget clear the interviewer wants to make sure your compensation expectations align with the amount they have calculated for the job for that particular profile if they find most candidates are asking for a great deal more than anticipated it might mean requesting a larger budget for the position one two they want to gauge how well you know your worth a good candidate knows how much their skill set is worth in the market and can share it with confidence to determine appropriate market value factor in your level years of experience and career achievements third they want to determine whether you are at the appropriate professional level an applicant who asks for a significantly higher amount than other candidates may be too senior for the role alternatively answering with a salary expectation on the low end could indicate you are at a lower experience level than the job requires your answer to this question can be the beginning of the salary negotiation process as a result you want to make sure you are providing a well researched response how to research job salaries when preparing an answer to a question about your ideal salary it's crucial you provide not only a number you feel comfortable with but the appropriate compensation for the job based on real data luckily it's easier than ever to find this information you can take help of uh, your salary range with websites those are available online keep in mind that salaries vary not only by career level and company but also by geographical location sometimes the south pays you better than the central and the north is again better in comparison to south whichever the case is but find out geographically as well when researching the typical salary range for a position remember to consider where the role is located and the cost of living in that particular area for example a job located in a big city right bangalore would have a different from hyderabad uh, would definitely have something from uh, very different from kolkata to new delhi to maybe a pune so everywhere you'd find the salary ranges it varies from one city to another when 
This will definitely help you to understand as to how the salary for the position in your geographic area compares to the national average. The salary for the job at various companies nearby and the average salaries in other cities near you i think you should be able to find it out there this data can help inform your answer to question about salary expectation but that this isn't the only criteria to consider your salary expectations should also factor in your seniority experience of level educational background and any specialization or unique skills other applicants in the field may not have so the absentia might work for something which you possess, right? How to answer salary expectation question? When a recruiter or a hiring manager asks what are your salary expectations, there are a few ways you can answer. Here are some suggestions might as well work for you. Provide a range. If you don't feel comfortable providing a single number, you may choose to offer a range instead, which is always good. Keep in mind, however, that the employer may opt for the lower end of your range. So make sure your target number is as close to the bottom number as possible to begin with. Also, keep your range somewhat tight with a variance of no more than, let's say, 25,000 to 50,000 annually, right? So how to answer this? I'll try to put it as an example. I am seeking a position that pays between $75,000 to $80,000 annually. Something like this you can say. Second is include negotiations option. In addition to your salary, there may be other benefits or perks or forms of compensation you consider just as valuable. Including these as possible opportunities for negotiation is an option too. For example, while the employer may not have budgeted enough for your ideal salary range, they may be willing to offer equity in the company to make the compensation package more attractive to you. How would you put it? You can always say, I'm seeking a position that pays between $75,000 and $80,000 annually, but I'm open to negotiate salary depending on benefits, bonuses, equity, stock options, and other opportunities. That states clear, clear as to what you're looking for. And you are absolutely open for further discussions. Third is deflect the question. If you are still early in the hiring process and still learning the specifics about the job duties and expectations, you may want to deflect the question for later in the conversation. However, keep in mind, you'll still eventually have to discuss salary expectations. Either way, it's good idea to be prepared with a well-researched number in mind. And even if you are still factoring in additional information, how would you put it? Example, before I answer, I'd like to ask a few more questions to get a better idea of what the position entails. That's why I can provide a more realistic expectation. Now, example answers for what are your salary expectations. Let's take this and look at this very closely. Uh, here, I would like to give you a few examples that determine what response is the best when countering this particular question. How would you respond? Example number one. While I am certainly flexible, I'm looking to receive between, let's say, $83,000 to $87,000 annually. Due to my skill set and experience level, I feel that this is a comfortable and appropriate range for my work. Another way of putting your example in a realistic way is my baseline salary requirement is $94,500. I feel that the value and expertise I can bring to this role supports my compensation expectations. Is this in line with your thoughts? Asking a question back. Fantastic. Wonderful. And how would you still uh, answer this? Let's have a, uh, have a look at the example number three. Let me start by reiterating how grateful I am for the benefits for this job offers such as generous paid time off and health benefits that being said i am expecting my salary for this position to be to fall between $45,000 to 50,000 annually my rich background in client services specific to this industry can play a role in strengthening the organization one more way number 4 how you can still answer thank you for asking 
I feel that an annual salary between $67,000 to $72,000 is in line with the industry average and reflects my skills and experience level well. I am, however, flexible and open to hearing about the company's compensation expectations for this particular position. Let's drop a few tips to determine and communicate salary expectations. Sharing salary information with an interviewer can feel uncomfortable, especially if you are not accustomed to being asked this question and are discussing your ideal compensation for the first time. To help the conversation go smoothly and make sure you get a fair salary, here are a few additional pointers. Always aim high. One, once you know the average salary range for the position, consider padding your expectations. In most cases, Employers are going to start you off at the lower end of the amount you provide. By aiming higher, you can make sure that even if they offer the lowest number, you'll still be making your target number. For example, if you want to make, let's say, 45,000, you don't say you are looking for a salary between 40,000 to 50,000. Instead, give a range of 45,000 to 50,000. That's what precisely it means. Number two, be confident. Some employers are interested in your answer as well as your delivery. If you are confident and self-assured, it will show you know your worth and while you might be open to negotiation, you are not going to accept less than you know you deserve. Don't sell yourself short in any attempt to move forward or you could end up making too little. Number three, explain your reasoning. While you don't need to get too detailed in explaining how you arrived at your salary expectations, it doesn't hurt to share how you arrived at that number. Highlighting your experience or educational level can add justification for your salary, especially if you are aiming above the local average. Be careful not to overshoot the amount too much or you could be considered overqualified. Here's an example of how to apply this tip. The average salary for this position in this area for a professional with my level of experience is about, let's say, $110,000, $215,000. So that would be my salary expectation for this role. Very blunt, very straight. Of course, even when you know your worth. When an interviewer asks about your salary expectations, having a well-formulated data-backed answer will ensure you're not undercutting yourself or aiming over the market value. By giving an honest, informed response, you can help the interviewer better understand whether your expectations align and if things go well, what sort of salary will be attracted enough to get you on board. I hope we have dropped enough hint on this particular question. So next time, I'm very sure that you would be more prepared, best prepared and raring to answer this more comfortably. Best wishes. Thank you.